Okay, Minji, thank you for that. Now, President Moon Jae-in's Special Advisory Committee officially got down to work on Monday. Its first task at hand, fleshing out how the new government's policies will be put into action. The committee hopes to have its results out and uh, handed to President Moon by early July. Ji Myung Gil with this report. A small signboard hanging ceremony signaled the launch of an advisory committee on Monday to work as the Moon Jae-in government's de facto power transition team. The committee's chair said the 34-person team will review the effectiveness of President Moon's policy pledges and identify the administration's priorities over the next five years. Providing quality jobs is one of the best welfare plans and is a shortcut to economic growth. We must make a golden triangle whereby growth, employment and welfare can go hand in hand. The committee has been arranged into six subdivisions, each dealing with economy, diplomacy, national security, social matters, planning and administrative research. Their immediate tasks will be outlining a government structure and devising measures on how to finance respective policies. They could also adopt policies of other political parties if they are found to improve the livelihoods of the people. For three days, from May 24 to 26, our committee will receive briefings from relevant government ministries. Unlike his predecessors, President Moon was inaugurated only one day after his victory in the snap presidential election of May 9th, which didn't allow for a power transition team to set sail. The committee will work for around two months, hoping to get things done quickly and announce its results by the end of next month. If they can do that, the details will be reported to the president in early July. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.